The Cable Test app provides a quick and easy way to perform a test on Ethernet cables to ensure they're wired properly. This test is performed using the Management Cable Test port on the left side of the unit. Before running a test, you may want to set the distance unit to feet or meters depending on your preference. This is accomplished by tapping on the menu icon in the upper left corner of the screen and then tapping on General Settings. From here, scroll down to Preference and set the distance unit. I'll tap back to return to the Cable Test app. Before running a test, it's important to understand the two types of cable tests that may be run. These are unterminated and terminated tests. When running an unterminated test, the unit is connected to one end of the cable and the other end is left unconnected. With a terminated test, a wire view cable ID accessory is attached to the far end of the cable being tested. The following tests may be run conducting an unterminated test. Length, shorts, split pairs, and opens. When running a terminated test, all of the unterminated tests may be run in addition to crossover cables, normal, rolled pairs, and shielded cables. The WireView cable ID accessories are numbered and may be used to identify unlabeled cables. When running a test with a WireView cable ID accessory, the number printed on the accessory is displayed within the cable test results. Every NetAlly wired Ethernet instrument includes WireView ID number one. Additional WireView cable IDs may be purchased separately to obtain numbers two through six. Let's take a look at some of the common cabling problems that may be identified with the Cable Test app. First is an unterminated test where the cable is good. Here we can see all four pairs are the same length. This indicates there are no problems along the length of the cable. Next is a case where there is a short in the cable. Here we can see three of the pairs are 106 feet long and pair 4-5 is shorted at 55 feet. Based on this, we know that something has gone wrong 55 feet from the unit. This is an example of a split pair cable. In this case, the cable has not been wired following the T568A or T568B wiring standard. The pairs used for Ethernet are split across multiple twisted pairs within the cable. This wiring configuration results in severe crosstalk between the pairs. Here we can see that pair 7-8 is open at 50 feet, while the other pairs are over 100 feet in length. This would indicate that pair 7-8 has been cut or was never connected at a cross-connect. By terminating the far end with a wire view cable ID, we can see a variety of other issues that can't be detected with an unterminated test. Let's take a look at some of these. In this case, we have a crossover cable. Pair 1-2 is wired to 3-6, and 3-6 is wired to 1-2. This was often used with 10 or 100 megabit per second Ethernet when connecting two switches together. This cable should be discarded or repaired. Here's a normal cable. We can see that wire view cable ID number 1 is attached to the far end of the cable. Running a test with the wire view cable ID provides a means to verify the connections are good all the way to the end of the jack at the end of the cable. This is an example of rolled pairs. Since Ethernet uses a differential mode signal, this cable will work, but it should be rewired to the appropriate wiring standard. One of the ends is miswired. To determine the location of this problem, each end must be physically inspected. In this case, I've tested a shielded cable. We can see the shield at the very bottom of the screen is connected from one end of the cable to the other. The Cable Test app supports sending a tone over the connected cable, allowing you to trace the wire or locate it in a switch closet. This function supports both analog toners as well as the Fluke Network's IntelliTone that uses a digital tone. The tone may be started and stopped by tapping on the speaker icon next to the tone type. If the management cable ID port is connected to an active device, a switch icon will be shown at the top of the screen. The tester cannot perform a cable test on a cable that's connected to a switch. However, you can use the toning function to trace the cable to the connected port. 
If the unit has been claimed to link live, the test results will be uploaded by tapping on the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen and tapping on Upload to Link Live. Thank you.